Let's run some temporary power lines out here so we can continue hovering. I'm kind of like a, a cowboy, you know, you got to do everything from horseback and you never get off the horse unless you absolutely have to. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to start uh, what will be to date our largest building project. Um, and we are going to set up a huge, relatively speaking, a fuel generator power plant because we are just about out of power. Um, we're very close to maxing out on our power here. So I have spent uh, many hours off camera planning and testing this build, and I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, basically, this whole area in front of me is gonna be filled with just a big field of uh, 67 fuel generators, and then in the background we're gonna have a big tower that's gonna house all the refineries and several uh, battery. Uh, you know, capacitor backups uh, towards the top uh, to make this all work. And it's going to add almost 10,000 megawatts to our network. Yeah, so it's pretty big and it's going to be really cool. Okay, so um, I have several storage bins here with um, a very large portion of all the material we're going to need uh, to build this. And I've also assembled several blueprints as a part of the process as well. What we want to do first then is uh, I actually want to remove all of this railing all the way down and uh, the railing and uh, road barrier, at least on this section. Um, so let's get that finished first. We'll do a little filter here and all of this is coming out as well as this railing all the way down. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, I just took all of the railing out because I'm pretty sure we're coming all the way down here. Let's go back now down to this end and we're going to get started with laying down our foundations. Now, um, I'm going to go with two meter foundations for this build because the build is going to have to go over the top of that sandbar and one meter foundations uh, are not high enough to cover the whole thing. So we'd have some terrain clipping through, which of course is not a desirable. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our blueprints here. I have a new uh, subcategory named Fuel Tower. Uh, which has uh, most of the blueprints in that we're going to use. And then I also have a couple of uh, fuel generator blueprints too. Um, so let's go to oil products. And what we want first is this uh, foundation, this east foundation. So we're going to grab that and we're going to put this right here. Uh, oh, I guess I need some material for that, don't I? In fact, let's do this. Um, let's see, I'm gonna need, oh geez, t probably 20 of these. So let's go here and let's just, let's just put in 20. And I th think we're gonna need Maybe 10 of these and 10 of these. Um, that's going to be close, maybe not everything. So a bunch of concrete, a bunch of iron rods, a bunch of steel beam. So let's get in here and let's see how many iron rods did we need? Uh, another 800 ish or so. One, two, three, four. Okay, that gives us enough. We've got all the steel beams we need, and then we just need like 5,000 concrete. So let's just grab all of the concrete. Um, well, that was about 10,000, but that's okay. We'll just hang on to that. 
Let's go back into the blueprints here and go to our um, four by four two meter foundation for the fuel tower. Fuel tower project east. That's the one we want. Okay. So um, this first one we're gonna have to place. Uh, normal, as in not in blueprint mode, and I think that's where we want it. Just double check. That looks correct. Yes, looks correct on that end. And looks good there. Okay, good. Whoop. Um, I am going to have to run some power poles down the middle of this thing, too, so we can... What the hell? Get on there. Oh, I need cable. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, and I'm going to actually... Here, let's put... Just trying to think how this is going to come together. Let's put this here. And we'll run these power cables down this section here. Uh, for hovering purposes. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, our west foundation. And now we can go into blueprint mode. And this should just... Wait a minute, is that turn... Oh, I guess that is turned the wrong way. Interesting. I think just by looking at this that that's correct let's just see what it does whoa yep that was correct okay good now we're going to go back to the east foundation again and put it in place all right and then we're going to need to run a power pull to there Let's go to our West 2 foundation and put that in place. And that's going to be um, the far end of the, of the platform here. Let's do another section of these. So uh, we want the East foundation and we want one there and one there. They'll be a lot easier to put in now that we have the other ones in. Uh, and then we'll go... Press E and go to the first West Foundation and put that in. And then go to the West 2 Foundation and put that in. And that all looks good. Okay, now, before we continue um, putting these foundations in, we're going to do a couple things here on the end. So let's get rid of that rail. That rail. That one and this one here. And then we just want to remove this entire strip here, except for not you or you. Then we're going to grab this two meter with the metal grip texture, put that in place. Now let's grab some railings here and we'll zoopity doop these down. We'll leave that one open. And that's... I believe that's the right direction there. So run that to there. And run that to there. Okay, let's go in here and get our a one meter ramp. Uh, right here, put that right there, and we'll make it the grip metal foundation texture. And then that gives us our walkway up onto the to the pad here. All right, very good. So now what I'm basically just going to do is um, keep working my way down and get all of the rest of these in place all the way down.
Okay, so um, for over here now, we want to go back to our East Foundation. And uh, yeah, stick that in there. And we want one in here. Need that rail right there. Uh, because this area right here is where we're going to uh, build the actual tower. Very good. Let's go back and get geared up now to start putting the fuel generators down. All right, guys. Um, I forgot to turn my camera on for the first part of this video. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. So we are going to be outputting from our refineries a total of 800 fuel um, and so each fuel generator will produce uh, or take in 12 fuel per minute so that means we need 66.666667 so we'll just say 67 and the last one we'll have to underclock a little bit of uh, fuel generates so that then in turn is going to produce um yeah about ten thousand uh, almost exactly ten thousand megawatts of power uh, because each fuel generator outputs 150 megawatts incidentally you guys may already know this but uh when 1.0 comes out i i believe they're either doubling or at least increasing the output of fuel generators, the power output. So they're going to be even better in 1.0. Um, so yeah, 10,000 megawatts of power by the time this is all said and done. This is going to be nice. Okay, but what that means for us for right now is we're going to need essentially 67 uh, fuel generators. And I probably can't even carry all of the materials I'm going to need for that. So let's go ahead and go into our menu here. And specifically, we want to go to our blueprints, and we're going to need, I think we're going to need about 34 of these and 33 of these. So let's go ahead and punch those numbers in now. Okay, and so that's all the stuff we need um, over there. This includes not only the generators, but, you know, some piping and some cabling and other things, too. Uh, that I have for that. How about uh, another thing, a quick wire? Okay, so that'll get us started. Let it, like I said, we'll have to come back and grab some more of this stuff as we go. Oh, auto safe. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we're going to go into our blueprints and find our fuel generators. Uh, this one comes with a pipe, a junction, and a power pole. And we need to get out of blueprint mode there. And I'm going to put that there. It needs to go there so that the junction's right on this seam here. And let's just check to make sure everything looks good in the back. And it, it does indeed. Okay. Now, I'm going to also, as we go along... Um, hook up these wires just so I have the power there, you know, for hovering. Okay, now let's go into the blueprints and let's grab the no pipe generator, which is on the other side. And get that lined up. That looks correct. And again, uh, we will just temporarily... This isn't going to be the permanent configuration for these power connections. This is just for my hovering ability. Uh, we'll hook those up too as we go along. Now let's go into our customizer. And uh, I've configured a few swatches here that we're going to use on a fairly regular basis. And I want um, to make sure... Oh, it looks like I've already got that one set to pipes. Okay. Uh, because the pipes that we're going to use for fuel are colored with kind of the yellow fuel color. 
and then I've contrasted, I'll contrast that by using black uh, junctions just because I think it looks a little bit nicer. Very good. Now, let's do the same thing again over here. So we want to grab ourselves a fuel generator with pipe and set that right there. Let's grab a fuel generator with no pipe and set that right in here. Uh, nope, it needs to come this way one. Whoop, that's way too many. Okay, there we go, good. Now let's put this pipe in here. And we're gonna do, once again, we're gonna run a temporary power connection down to here and into here. It's looking good. So now that we have kind of the, the first four in place here, we should be able to pretty much just go along um, and just start popping these in place. And then we just, just have to make sure they're bumped up against their buddy there. Okay, and then we'll go to the no pipe version. Oh, ran out of power. Put that one there. And this one should go right there. Okay. Let's run um, the power lines to the next ones. Unfortunately, if I want to keep hovering, which I do, we got to stop and keep hooking up the power lines. But, you know, the power lines have to be hooked up anyways. So... Uh, you know, so we're, it's not a waste of time because we're just getting something done that we have to do anyway. Uh, the, the only downside to it is I, it keeps interrupting me, so I can't keep the blueprint menu open and just keep plopping them down. I mean, I mean, I guess I could if I stayed on the ground, but yeah, we'll just do it this way. All right, so you get the basic idea on how these are coming together. None of this, by the way, none of this stuff is going to be overclocked or underclocked with the exception of the fuel pumps themselves, uh, or I'm sorry, the oil extractors, uh, those we're gonna max out on the overclock uh, so we can get the most capacity that we can. Um, so you guys get the basic idea. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the camera and I'm just gonna put these in all the way down and I'll meet you down on the other side. Okay, that gets everything hooked up uh, for the fuel generators. We've got power all the way down. Everything looks nice and straight. We got pipes all the way down. Again, just kind of eyeballing it to make sure, you know, nothing appears to be off. That looks nice and straight. That looks nice and straight. And I think we're good down that way as well so each of these rows has uh, 16 fuel generators except for this one this one has 17 and we also need to underclock this particular one uh, to 66 we're just gonna call it 66 percent it'll be close enough because um, I think our number was 800 divided by 12. Yeah, 66.6667. And that, 6667 divided by 4, right? So that's 16 in each row with this one as the 17th or an extra one underclocked to 66%. Uh, so yeah, that looks pretty cool, man. A big old farm of fuel generators. I'm loving it. So my intent for the, the base of the tower is for it to be a, a 10 by 10 pad. 
Yeah, we want a 10 by 10, so let's just... Uh, that doesn't quite come... Uh, it's because I got this half. Okay, yeah. Let's... Let's conti continue that all the way down so everything stays even, Steven. All right, now we can go all the way up to there. Oh, getting out of range of power here. Okay, before I go any further, though... Um, Why don't we... Yeah, that was the edge there. Okay, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's going to go all the way into the terrain. So I'm, we might not be able to afford to have two tiles. We may have to bring that all back one. And then maybe have like a little sidewalk on the back side there. Okay, so let me just double check this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and then the eleventh one will be like a sidewalk. Okay, so we'll finish filling this in. Very good. Okay, so we got the we got the pad down. I think two. What I'd like to do is uh, we may uh, have to come out this way a little bit further as well. But let's go ahead and just use some paint here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we'll just color those for good measure Bring those down to, down to there. Let's just go like that. Cause I'm not planning on doing anything in this, this area here anyway. Now, actually, I I am gonna put some something, but it's gonna be more over here. Okay, so we're gonna need another row that way, too. And. Like I said, we're actually going to even expand this out a little further over here for reasons which will become apparent later. Okay, so this black outline here is the outline of our tower. Okay, so the next step here is that we're going to... I got to go back now and get materials to start building our refineries and accompanying equipment, but before we do that, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and let's get our oil extractor set up and we'll throw down some fluid buffers uh, so it can get started, you know, pumping oil for us and getting that ready to go. Um, that way, when we first bring everything online, we can turn the oil extractors off they're going to be drawing a lot of power because i'm going to max overclock them um and i'm pretty sure we'll have enough power we're just going to pull power off of our batteries over here to to prime everything um and if we don't have to also be running the oil extractors at the same time that uh, that should work okay so let's go uh we're going to need stuff for the extractors and we're going to need more concrete so let's head on back over here and get that stuff ready to go. Let's run some temporary power lines out here so we can continue hovering. I'm kind of like a, a cowboy, you know, you got to do everything from horseback and you never get off the horse unless you absolutely have to. I've already 
uh, cleared everything out of here when I was doing the testing. <clears throat> There's some hostile critters that guard this, you know, there was some uh, loose mineral nodes, a few of the barrel nut plants, stuff like that, and I got that all cleared out in advance. Um, we want to keep actually running that that way. Okay, so let's come over here, and we're going to grab... Uh, we'll just continue using two-meter foundations. We'll press control to get on the world grid. Now what we'll do is we'll grab a an oil extractor, and we want to turn it this way. Good. Yeah, I want to actually run. Foundations down this way. And. I'm pretty. Or, uh, uh, well, okay, I guess I'm not sure. Let's look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more width than that. So probably. Well, we don't need to we don't need to do this all the way down though cuz I'm going to put the buffers near the tower mostly for aesthetic reasons cuz I think they look badass. Is that enough to fit two of these? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll run the the pipes right down the center. So that being the case, Um, I think we're going to turn this the other way. Well, I mean, it's not really going to matter. But yeah, let's do that. It's, it's still not going to be straight no matter what we do because we're coming off of a node here. I hope that in 1.0 they line these nodes up to the world grid. I haven't heard if they're going to, but it'd be nice if they did. Excellent. Okay, so. Um, now, what I want to do here is... Let's just uh, grab power from over here for now. This is just temporary. These won't be running off of this power plant. You know, permanently, but just to kind of get things kick-started here. Because we have a little extra... Um, ...power coming from over here. Plus, this is plugged into the main grid anyways. So we have, you know, we have this much power, basically, between this blue line and that grid dark gray line. Well, and technically I guess even the light gray line if the biomass burners kick in. Let's get this plugged into there. Alright, now we are going to crank this son of a bitch all the way up to the max. So it's going to be cranking out 600 oil per minute. And uh, it will not take long at all for it to get the fluid buffer filled up. What we're going to do for oil, just for funsies and aesthetics, is all of our oil piping is going to be black and with red trim. Uh, though you don't really see the red. So water piping is going to be this blue color. Fuel piping will be this yellow color, which we've already seen. And oil piping will be the black and red color. And everything we're doing is going to be marked too. Some of it it doesn't all have to be Mark II, but I like the look of the Mark II anyway, so we're just going to go with that. So I think what we'll do here is... Um, <clears throat> we want to get right here on the seam. And you know what? That might actually work just fine anyway. We're not going to be able to get it perfectly straight, and that doesn't look terrible. I think we'll just go with that. I believe we will. Okay. Good. So we just line up on the seam and we head back down this way. I'm going to lose power here. 
It's all right. Let's just let's get off the horse for a minute. Lazy as shit, man. I've been spoiled with all this uh, hovering ability. Okay, we'll bring this down to here. I'm going to leave a little bit of room. Yeah, let's start them here. Move it over there and... Yeah, it's on the edge there. Okay, good. Let's take that out. Can... Uh, no, let's not have it like all the way butted up against there. Let's leave it. Give us a little bit of a gap there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll plug that into there. That into there. And these will start now filling up with oil. And it won't take them long to fill up because that thing is cranking so fast. And once these two buffers completely fill up, then we'll disconnect the power from that and just leave it unpowered until we're fully up and running. Uh, because here again, these guys are taking a lot of juice with all that overclocking that we did. They are 134.3 megawatts per second. I think they normally only... Oh, shit, I'm missing cable. Damn it, Jim. All right, here we go get cable. I think they normally only pull 40 watts. So you can see that there's definitely a price to pay for for overclocking, and it just gets exponentially higher. Okay, let me go grab some more stuff, and I'll meet you guys back over here. All right, guys. Um, what I'm going to actually do is... I was going to put the other buffers on that scene, but I think I actually want to put them in the middle of that foundation just for how I'm going to uh, run the pipes into the building. So that means we want to extend this out. Let's go to there. And then we don't really need that stuff there. Okay. And then we'll run uh, the pipe from the other extractor just right down the center of this foundation here. Also, uh, both of these buffers are now full. So completely filled up on that one and on that one. So we can disconnect the power from this. And we won't hook the power back up to it until uh, we have everything permanently in place. Let's get the other buffer in too while we're at it here. We can even just actually start running the pipe going out this way. It's yellow because it's um, because of the power poles there, but those are going to be removed, so not a big deal. Right to there. Okay, so this power line here is uh, these will stay here permanently because we'll hook those up to the the new power grid when the time comes. Um, so I think what I'll do is we'll probably set up a a power connector on the side of the building once the building's in place. But for now, let's run this to here. And we'll just run these cables now and then they'll be in place for later and we won't have to do it again. Does that reach all the way down there? 
No, it's a little too far, isn't it? Okay. And let's just bring it back to this scene here. Okay, let's run that down. To there. Run that down to there. And our other oil nose just right there. So I think we're going to want... Yeah, it's almost perfect there. Let's take this and run it to the corner. Um, I want to see actually though where the the drill is going to go. I don't think those guys are going to mess with us. If they do, it'll be the last thing they ever do. Uh, let's pick that stuff. Okay, we'll get this on the world grid. And I just kind of want to see where the extractor is going to place. Right there. Okay. Did I put that damn thing backwards? I sure did. Can't take me anywhere. Turn it around this way. That should work. Okay, so let's come back here. Grab this. And we'll put that one on the end there. And then we'll run another one to the corner over here. Didn't quite get it. All the way to the corner. And then connect it up here. I don't want to connect it from here because then it'll kind of clip up through here. Okay, let's throw all of these in and overclock this guy all the way to the max. Excellent. Now, let's grab a pipe. And that's almost perfect, actually. It is going to... Well, no, it's not quite perfect, but it's close enough. So it's going to go to there. And then we want to bring it to the center. Go back a couple. And then do that. There we go. Okay, the oil is flowing. Fantastic. I may end up sliding these two buffers over a half a foundation later because if we do that then we can excuse me then then I can get rid of this one and add one here just so there isn't this gap here but I'm not going to do that right now because these are already full and I don't want to waste all that oil so that, that'll be an off-camera thing later on if, if I even do it at all. We'll just see how it goes. But we got our oil going now. This is starting to fill up. And uh, probably in about five minutes or less. These two, well, let's say five to ten minutes. These two will probably be completely full. And each one of these can produce 2,400 oil. So we have 4,800 oil per. And that should run the refineries for 10 minutes, maybe, ish, before it's going to need new oil, which will be plenty of time to get this thing primed. We really just need to get just a few of these machines up and running, and then they start providing, you know, power, and then it becomes basically self-sustaining, uh, even though we will ultimately connect it into the main power grid. Excellent. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is go back... Uh, to our storage and grab all of the stuff that we need to start making the refineries. We are going to need a total of 30 of these guys. 
Uh, we're going to need 20 to create the fuel and 10 to process the a polymer resin, which we are going to turn into plastic and then throw right into a sink for now. Now, the reason I'm going to throw it into a sink is because we're already overloaded on plastic as it is, so there's no point in sending it down that way just to throw it into a sink there. But this also will give us more plastic for the future if we, you know, if we need it for something else too. But in the meantime, it makes more sense just to throw the sink down here, which I'll probably put right there to get rid of that plastic. All right, guys. So uh, first thing I actually want to do is put down the um, corners of the building. Let's make that vertical. Three, four, and we're just going to go up five for now. Um, and the reason I'm doing this right now is because then I can hook the power up to three, four, five to these and try and get rid of some of these poles that are all over the place. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Now, let's see, what probably makes the most sense I'm trying to decide where I want to bring the power into the building. Why don't we run it off? Well, no, I think I want to run it off over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I don't suppose we could run through here without clipping, can we? Uh-uh. Hmm. That's that's too bad, but it is what it is. Okay. Well, then in that case, let's put this here. And then we'll run this I'm going to run it to here for now. And we might, I might change that up later. We'll see. And then I just want outlets on both inside areas of the supports. Mr. Bean, you're in the way. Okay, and then let's run that one over to there. I wonder if we... Yeah, it's not going to matter. Nope. Not where I wanted it. I want it right there. Oh, actually, this is actually a better place to do it, to, to bring like the main line into the building. Because we have this pole right here. Ah, yeah, okay, much better. So what we'll do then is we'll go straight to there. And hook that into there. Love it. And we're just going to wrap this power all the way around like so. Now let's come over here and run that power to there because we're still working on getting these. Oh. Well, never mind. I guess those are full now, too. That didn't take long at all. Goodness. Cool. 
So that means then we don't need, uh, we can cut the power to the other extractor for, for the time being. But we will, you know, once we get everything up and running, you know, then we'll just connect the power back to that line, you know, down there. But we don't need this and we don't need that. We're probably going to have to... I mean, I, I can go, you know, from side to side, but when we get out in the center... Eh, I mean, as long as we don't stay right smack in the center, we'll probably be okay. But I think what I'm going to do anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, is let's get rid of this. And we don't even need this here after all. Because we have the power coming in over that way. Oh, yeah, I'm like really loaded up on stuff here. Uh, what's in this? One thingy of concrete, huh? Okay. Oh, damn it! I've got I got stuff all over the place. I didn't even notice that. That's the funny thing about these. Uh, is at least for me, you know, when I'm disassembling stuff. I don't even notice that I have these sitting around until, you know, like 10 bins later, and then I realize it. So why don't we, um, let's go to, to uh, organization. And we'll just grab you for now. And let's just plop in one of those and one of those. And this is going to have oil coming in. So... I'm going to color these tiles black. And let's go ahead and grab our first refiner blueprint. See, that's the southeast corner, right? Yeah, okay. So I want to grab the southeast re uh, fuel refinery, which is this one, southeast corner. So this one comes with the oil input pipes attached. And it's it's three because you can't do more than three um, in the blueprint designer. Okay, so uh, to make sure I place this first one correctly because everything else down the line is going to depend upon it. I want... I want the pipes right down the center. Okay, so that's correct that direction. And I'm pretty sure we want to move it one there. Okay. Let's lock that in, and if we have to move it later, we do. We, we move it later. And these are already set up. Uh, for fuel, uh, but none of these machines are going to be overclocked or underclocked. Right, okay. Now I want to get my south, uh, wait, what is it? Yeah, the southwest blueprint, which is this one, and this has two more refineries. And what we need to do is we need to make sure the spacing's right. Um, and I'm starting to think it probably is not. Well, uh, okay, so this one is, The, the ladder of this refinery is just a little bit off center from that tile. Yeah, we need... <coughs> My goodness, excuse me. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to move that over one. I think... So now the ladder is just a little bit to the inside of this center square here. And if we 
take this back apart. And this was the southwest corner. Uh, no, no, no. Southeast corner. Southeast fuel. Yeah, that one. Okay. Okay, that needs to go that way one. And the ladder is just on the inside of that square, and it's right in the center. Boom. That's where we need to go. The other ones will be easier, you know, because uh, we can just base them off of all of these guys here. Beautiful. Okay, let's connect this up here. These are oil pipes. Inputs. That wasn't too terribly painful. What we want to do now, and uh, let me just double check. Yeah. And that gap there matches all the other gaps. Yeah, looks good. What we want to do now is we want to grab the northeast refinery northeast corner here now instead of having fuel input pipes this one has i'm sorry oil input pipes this has fuel outputs i was just trying to attach um, as much stuff as i could to it but you can't have pipes coming out both sides of the two blueprints facing each other because um you know, even if you lined everything up, it still wouldn't connect. You still have to manually connect it. The pipes in particular is what I mean. So, all right. What we want to do here now is we want to make sure that these inputs are lined up right with the edge of that, which they are, because that's what this is. And then we just need to scooch it over so that the pipe hole lines up with this junction. And that looks correct. So I think we can lock that one down. Next we want to do the northwest corner fuel refineries. And once again, let's lock those there. And I think we got it. Yep, that looks right. Okay. And these should also all be set to fuel. So now we just need to pipe it in. Fan friggin-tastic. Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is work on the fuel lines next. So let's get those connected. Oh. We need to also go back to here and set the fuel, yellow fuel color to the pipes. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Now for, we need, we need to get to there with this. Because we're gonna have a we're gonna have another floor of these, and the, and the second floor is gonna supply those two banks of Jennies. Let's go ahead and run this pipe into here. Now, if you if you run them in the center, then you know then they can move through the girders there. So we're going to have to do like a little thingamadoodle here. Just because of the way this has worked out. Or the other thing I guess I could do is... Hmm. I 
could pull all of these out to the center of here. That would be neater and not difficult to do. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Which means my blueprints are not perfect, but that's okay. Okay, good. Now, we should be able to come down in through here and I might need to Nope, that, I think that's what we want. Is that does that need to be nudged over? Nope. That looks correct. Okay, let's lock it in. Okay, I'll we'll run this straight down over to here. Why don't we put the... Of course, she would have to be right in the way. Let's put the collar right in the center just so everything is nice and symmetrical. So when we get to here, we want to turn this way. Um... And let's just stay in the center of the tile. Is that straight? Yes, it is. There we go. All right, so that hooks up hooks up the fuel line for the first uh, two banks of thingamadoodles there. Now, I want to check something just... Because I always screw up my math. We have 10 of these guys. They are outputting, therefore, 400 fuel. Okay. And so if we take 400 and divide that by 12, that's 33.333. Okay. So my math is right. Because we have a total of 30. No, my math is not right, is it? Damn it, Jim. If we take 33.333 and divide that by um, 2. No, I'm, I'm right. No, I'm not right. We should actually have 6. 17.2. So 16 on each side, plus another full one, 17, and then 0. 0.222, whatever, after that. Hmm. Yeah, I did not do this right. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I think I may have a solution here that's not going to require me to scrunch this building. Because scrunching the building is its more complicated than it sounds because then it screws up all my blueprints. Uh, well, maybe not all of them, but some of them. And so I want to avoid doing that. So here's what I think we're going to attempt to do. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to set this back to full clock speed. So that gives us 16 on that side, 17 on that side. Um, and then we need another one. Okay, so... So let's grab another one of these uh, power fuel generators and pop it right there. 
and this is the one that needs to run at 33%. So what we need to do then is grab you and bring you to here, back to, put you into there, and then you, wait, what? And then you go into there. Okay. And now we can run all of these, these 10 machines at full speed. Okay, so that was the easy one. Now, over here, the situation's a little different because we need we basically need room for two more machines. And the only way really I think that we're going to do that is if we go out that way. Okay. It's just um, one of those things, you know. We had to come up with some kind of a solution, and that's a much easier solution than redoing the size of this building and potentially fucking up all my blueprints. So we're going to run with that. And I never claimed to be any good at math because I'm not. <laughs> you guys are thinking, oh, you don't say. No, I'm, I just, that's never, math has never been my strong suit. Uh, which makes playing this game kind of challenging. But you know what? We do the best we can. So we are, we're okay now. We're in business uh, with, well, at least with this part of it. And I think we can continue with our, our tower as planned. All right, now, what we're going to do next then is let's finish uh, let's finish setting things up down here. So You know what? Actually, we need we do need to get the next floor in place before we can finish down here. Except for we can do these we can do these fuel outputs. We can do these right now. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to grab a junction. And I don't... Th well, we're coming all the way out to the center on this side too, aren't we? Just to kind of keep things... Symmetrical. I think we'll do the same over here. I know we don't need to come that far out, but we're going to do it. All right, so we'll put you there. Um, I'll just manually color those black. There we go. Okay, and then we'll grab fuel pipe. Bring you out to there. Go back to... this needs to be a junction. Right. Okay. Instead of fighting this, let's just get that out of the way momentarily. I'll bring you there. Curve you this way and bring you into there. There we go. That looks pretty damn good. Fuel hookups are done for the bottom floor and oil hookups. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do the oil next. We've got to run this from here. So this one should be pretty lemon squeezy. I think all we got to really do is just plug into there, run this all the way. Oh man, look at that. It's not going to quite work, is it? Okay, so let's have the collar stop there. Then we run it to here, back to, and voila, there's our oil hookup. We're good to go. Except for that these pipes are supposed to be black. Because they're oil pipes. Hello. There we go. Actually, kind of looks... 
I'd like to have those collars yellow as well. Now we still need to hook up our conveyors um, for the uh, polymer resin, the byproduct, but I don't want to do that until we get the ceiling in place. Each floor in this tower is actually going to be 10 foundations high or 40 meters high. We put the first five down, but for the second five, we have something. Uh, I made some blueprints for that. So this is the southeast corner. Let's go to our blueprints, oil products, and we want to find the southeast girders. All right. And then the trick here is going to be to get this thing to go. Yeah, you know what we I think we need to do is let's get the ceiling in place first. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's just put it there for a second, just so I can get up a little more height here. Now these we want to be one meter foundations. Okay. that to go out nine nine let's do two here and we want those to be black or oil input grip metal I think I'm gonna actually hold off on putting putting the girders in for now we'll do that later because um, this it'll just give us a little bit more room to work here fan friggin tastic okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hook up on these outputs Mark one conveyors. I'm going to take them all the way up to the ceiling. Okay. Now, um, am I going to run out of power over here? Yeah, nope. I think we'll be okay. Good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to blueprints and uh, let's see. That's west, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to grab this west ceiling mergers and flip it around this way. We want that right in the center and lined up with this. Okay, let's lock that in place and make sure we're lined up on all of these points. Hmm. I almost wonder if I need to nudge that over to the left one. Let's see. No, I think that's right. Okay, let's lock it in. That is not what I meant to do. Cut it out. That's what I meant to do. Okay. Is that straight? It is not. I did need to nudge these fuckers to the left. Yeah, that looks right. That looks correct. Yep, I think that's what we're after. Okay. Then we just hook all these belts into here. And these belts go into here. Oh, did I forget to put the lift on this? I certainly did. And 
and everything should be straight. It looks to me like it is. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, East Ceiling Merger, and let's actually move these down so they're right next to each other. Okay, East Ceiling Merger. And we want this one to be lined up on there and flipped around this way. So I actually need to go back to here. Um, yeah, I left the belt on there just so I would kind of can use it as a guide, but we'll have to redo that belt. Okay, we're in the center there. Um, I think we need to come this way one more too. Yep, let's do it. Okay, so this is a Mark uh, 3 belt, but we got to redo it. And I think everything else is correct. Okay, looking good. Okay, so what's going to happen here on this first floor is... Uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a, can, uh, a floor hole. We'll just put it right in the center there. And by the time we get this far... I think we can still stick with Mark four, which is what this is. Let's do the math. We have 30 times 10 is 300. So by the time everything gets on the line, we have 300 product per minute, which is too much for a Mark three, but fine for a Mark four. We want a Mark four lift here then. So we'll put that in place. And grab that Mark IV belt and... Oh, I wait a second. Yeah, I put that... Got to reverse that. Let's try this again. Mark IV, reverse. There we go. Okay, good. And I... Th uh, oh, we got to do power. That's the other thing we have to do. But we're going to do power off of the ceiling. Um, so what I actually want to do is I want to run you all the way up to the top. Wait a minute. Didn't I just... I must have taken the line down instead. Okay, and then what we need to do is we just need to find the right spot for dropping these down. Um, so I think we take it to probably there and then maybe to here and then down to here. Here. Wait. Oh, that's right. I already connected these in the blueprint. And after I had done all that, then I got to thinking, you know what? I should run those off the ceiling instead. Okay. Maybe what I'll do is I'll load the blueprints up before we do the next floor and remove these then. And that's pretty straight, I'd say. Pretty damn straight, in fact. Um, oh, you know what, though? I don't want that running yet. Yeah, because we're, we're not fully set up for that to happen quite yet. Let's pull that stuff off of there. I think that actually connected because it did the beep. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I will take care of the power connections off camera. Um, but I'll basically, you know, just go around and make sure everything's lined up to get that in there. All right, guys. So um, the, the next floor is going to be a, a mirror image of what's going on down here. Uh, the only difference will be that, you know, we'll have to run an oil pipeline up and a fuel pipeline down. And we'll have to use a, um, a pump, an inline pump for the oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the first part of this episode here. I'm going to put, get the second floor put together and then we'll start the next episode at the point where we have to run the pipes up and down because that'll be, you know, that's a little bit different than what we've done down here. And then we'll proceed from there. I will also um, get the, uh, I'll get the power connectors themselves in place. Uh, but I don't want to power any of this stuff up until, you know, everything's ready. Otherwise, we're going to have a bunch of, you know, polymer resin jammed up with no place to go. Uh, so I'll get the power connections in place. And I will get the next set of refineries, fuel refineries in place. And once that's done, then we'll start the next episode and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.